Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Mother's Day out there. I hope everyone's been having a wonderful weekend. Um, today's video was just a quick and simple easy look um, on this look here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I know I said that I was going to do beauty videos every Wednesdays and Sundays, but I feel like it's kind of been a little hard for me, you know, two kiddos. Um, I'm working a full-time job it's kind of hard to kind of find the time to be able to do these videos for you guys some people totally rock at it i'm still trying to find my groove so i think i'm just going to do a video every um i'm going to do a video once a week probably on sundays um because that's when i have the most time is over the weekend to be able to do these films so i'm just gonna go to try to work my way up baby steps so i think i kind of jumped the gun and went in super fast thinking I could do it and you know what this is not something that's easy for everyone to do some people are pros I am not one of those people yet so I will get into it though um but yeah I'm gonna just go down to doing a video once a week and those will be on Sunday nights for the most part um and like for those of you new to my channel this my channel is all about drugstore beauty um inexpensive makeup products because I know not everyone out there can afford the high-end stuff um, so I want to be able to give you guys some wonderful and amazing looks that you can create using drugstore things you know inexpensive makeups you know stuff you can find cheap everywhere so I want to be able to give people options because I know there is so many videos out there with high-end stuff I mean we all love the look of high-end but you can achieve just those beautiful looks with just inexpensive products so this is what this channel focuses on um so i really hope you guys enjoy these videos like i said if you did go ahead and give this video a thumbs up um for my facebook followers yes thumbs up for my youtube followers don't forget to subscribe um i would like i said i hope you guys really do enjoy this video it was really great for me to just sit down get ready take my time and just go into it so i like i said i hope you enjoy this video and then i will see you guys soon Bye guys. Happy Mother's Day to all those mothers out there. I hope you all are having a wonderful Sunday so far. Today's just going to be a quick get ready with me video as I am just honestly taking this day to relax. I told my husband the one thing I really want today is just to relax because I feel like we're always go, 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 go. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to sit here, film a nice little relaxing get ready with me video, and then just chill the rest of the day. Probably do a little bit of painting. We went to Michael's last night and I just kind of went aboard on some paint. Uh, I really love to paint those ceramic jars and stuff and make it my own. So my house is decorated with a lot of that stuff. So that's probably what I'll be doing for the rest of the day. So let's just get in with this video now that I blabbed this intro. Um, first things first, I primed my face using my Maybelline Master Primer. This is the Blur and Smooth. I'm going to try this one heck of a blot primer. I know it's a primer as well, but it's for your pores. I've had this for a while. It's supposed to be a shine block and it's a 12 hour matte um I don't know how I feel about it yet like I said nothing ever compares to my uh NYX pore filler but like I said guys I'm still trying to like see how I feel about this so this is like I said by soap and glory and it's one heck of a blot so I'm just gonna put a little bit on my fingers and I'm just going to put it in my um pore area and then I'm gonna just put it in my t-zone just really working the product in on the face. That's going to be kind of quick through everything else with the eye makeup. So into this. So I'm going to use my matte poreless. Um, this is going to be in Maybelline. This is in the Fit Me. This is in the 122, the cream beige. So I'm just going to use my Real Techniques Beauty Blender. And I'm going to put this all on my hand probably just to dab it on there. So I am going to go ahead and do this real quick. Like I said, I prefer my BD blender over brushes. To be honest, you guys, I, I just, brushes just look really, I don't know if it's like the texture of my skin, but they just don't look great to me with any foundation that I've used. So this is one of my favorite foundations. It's cheap, it's inexpensive, and it really just has a great color payoff for me. So, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use my beauty blender and just 
on this end. Does anyone have any special plans for Mother's Day? I hope everyone's at least getting to relax or be spoiled or do whatever it is that they wanted to be able to do for Mother's Day. Okay. So now that I have the foundation all on my skin, I'm going to go in with my concealer. And I think for concealer today, uh, let's use my NYX HD. Kind of give you guys a variety. Oh my gosh, I cannot get it together today. So I'm just gonna use my NYX, H, NYX HD concealer. This is in, what is this in? CW 0.35. So I'm just going to do the downward triangle motion. Go down my nose. my forehead chin and where my smile lines are all right guys so i am just going to buff this out real quick using my uh real techniques beauty blender and before i set all of this i'm gonna go ahead and contour my nose using my elf brow pomade this is in dark so i'm gonna take this Ooh, well my fingernail just went into it i am going to take this taupe toby brown color here on the end of my eco tools uh eyeshadow brush but i've actually been using it to do my nose contour so and i'm just going to start from my brow I'm just going to kind of go light go down the edge of my nose For some reason, I always, when I do this on camera, I can never do a freaking straight line. Oh my God, but it's okay. So then I go ahead and do a V on the bottom of my nose here. And then I will go and put a line where my crease of my nose um, side starts. Does that make sense? So that was dark. And then I'm gonna do the side of my nose as well. I'm going to take the end of my brush and I'm just going to lightly clean it up just a little bit and then I'll bake it but then I'll kind of do a more uh, brown so I'll go in with this powder kind of brown and just re go down. Alright, so I'm going to use my Makeup Revolution, the Luxury Baking Powder and Banana. I'm going to put it in my little cap. That's why the cap was off. Alright, Makeup Revolution, you definitely need to put this in a bigger, a more easier bottle so that we can actually put our beauty blender and brushes in this stuff. So I'm just going to put that on there to bake. All right. So now that I look like I'm a baking monster, go ahead and take this brush. Dang it. Wrong brush. Go ahead and take my little brush. See how dark that is. Just buffing it out so that's not so dark since I accidentally applied a little bit too much. Looks a little bit more narrow there. All right, guys, so now that I have finished contouring my nose, like I said, I went back in and used this light brown to the pomade. It's, this is just a pressed powder in there. So I went ahead and used that to finish the contour of my nose. I'm now just going to pat in this bake and essentially wipe the baking away.
And I like this technique because I feel like I stay more matte um, throughout the day by doing this. By really making sure that powder is pressed into my face. All right. All right, so next what I'm going to do is go in with my contour. Um, what I'm going to do first, actually, is I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild. This is in the Mega Mega Glow. Um, this is in Dolce de Leche. So what this has is, it's this is like an oldie but a goodie. It's got highlight shade here and then it has the contour shade here I actually use this contour shade more to bronze up the face than anything I don't actually use it to contour um, so I'm gonna just go ahead in with my what brush should we use today let's just go in with this big um, blush it's supposed to be a blush brush but I don't use this brush for blush at all and this is by Real Techniques, this beautiful brush. I just like it because it doesn't necessarily pack on all this powder. It gives me just the amount and I'm able to add more if I needed. Like I said, a lighter hand is better to go in with than a darker. So I'm just getting this up into my forehead go in and get my neck and this just gives you like a subtle glow with like I said without without having to do too much All right, so then for contour, I'm actually going to go in with my ColourPop uh, pressed powder. So it's just the darker um, bronzer here. So I'm gonna go in with my Morphe angled contour brush. Just focus it on the back of my, the top of my cheekbone. I love the angled one because it really gets into um, the creases of my cheek. I'm just making sure I blend this to the down my hairline. And then I'll really make sure I carve out my chin. it for that I feel like I'm really like like sh my light is just shining on me but this is like the lowest setting that my light can be on so it, it just cracks me up all right and then for blush I'm gonna go in with the fit me in number 15 it's just a really pretty mauve color just to give my cheeks a little hint of or rose actually this is like a pretty rosy color all right just that pretty pretty rose color I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure that my um, contour looks really sharp All right, so I just went in and did filled my brows in with this e.l.f. brow pencil in deep brown. I actually really like the way they look today, so that's plus for me. I'm gonna go ahead and 
wipe this big. All right. So next for eyes, we got some good. I'm just gonna take this Stay Matte Powder by Rimmel London. It's just a translucent color. And I'm just going to put this all over my lids. Okay, so let's go in with this Carly Bible palette. This is, um, so I, I don't know, since I just put that powder, I think let's just go in with a translucent color. Um, so we're going to go in with this brown. I know I've hit pan on all these colors. I need to restock in this. Um, so we're going to go in and use this brown here. I'm going to use my Real Techniques Dome Shadow Brush. And just work this in all over my crease. Hopefully this doesn't come out looking like caca. <laughs> All right, so then we're going to go in, ah, what brush do we want to use? Hmm. Let's use this one. So this is the Morphe brush. We're going to go in with this mauve, dark mauve color here. So I'm just going to lightly dip it. And we are going to just put this in the crease as well. This is actually a very, very pretty uh, transition crease color. I just love this color, wow. Then down in the corner, um, on my outer corner, I am going to take. Hmm. I'll try this one. So we're gonna take the lighter of the mauve color, and we're gonna put that in the outer corner. And just pat it in there. That's really pretty. All right, and then I think let's take. a flat brush if I can find one no I want this one and we are going to go in with this dark um, highlighter we're just going to put that in the inner corner and on our lid here I'm going to go back in with the mop and just buff this in and out. Pretty. All right. And then for actual highlights, 
I'm gonna take this lighter gold, sorry, this lighter gold next to it and just highlight the brow bone. Get the inner corner. And then we're gonna take our e.l.f. highlight brush. And just get our cheekbones. You know me. I love my highlight. I go overboard with the highlight. Okay. So for eyeliner, we're going to go in and use our gel eyeliner. This is the Ulta Beauty brand in black. So I'm going to go in and use that. I constantly am just practicing that gel with that gel liner. So, in case you were wondering. <laughs> All right, for the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and take my Little Eco Tool smudge brush. And I'm going to go in with that dark mauve color because I actually really, really love it. And I am just going to get the bottom of my lash line. There's that. I'm gonna go ahead and go in and just use my mascara, which you know is going to be my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. Um, I thought about using some falsies, but because I'm gonna be home, and honestly, I really only like to wear them when I'm doing special occasions, I'm just gonna pass on doing them today. But I feel like falsies would really just take this look to the next level. All right, done with that. And then for lips, I've already been wearing this gloss and I actually do like it. I don't recommend it for the lip plumping aspect of it. This is e.l.f. in Sparkling Rose. So this was one I bought forever ago um, to see if it was really a lip plumping a lip plumping gloss. Do I think it pumps out my lips? Absolutely not, but I do love the color. It does give it a little sting, which I know it's supposed to. Um, but it's just a really pretty color. So I honestly just wear it for the gloss aspect. Um, and I'll put this like over, if I wear like a matte, I'll put it over it. Cause I'm kind of going back into wanting to wear more glosses now. Just because my lips are kind of sensitive sometimes to the matte, those matte colors. So, <laughs> well, all right, guys, I'm going to finish up my hair real quick since it's kind of naturally all dried. And then I will be right back to show you our final. Welcome back. So this is my final look for you guys. I know I said I was going to do my hair, but then I was like, it is real. I'm going to relax today. So who cares really what my hair looks like? At least it's clean, right? Like I washed it today. <laughs> um, so I am just going to finish off using my Essence Instamat Makeup Setting Spray. So I am just going to make sure I shake it good. And voila, voila. So, all right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. To all the moms or single dads out there, happy Mother's Day, because we know, um, you know, it is a two-person kind of job sometimes, but people rock it being a single parent as well. So I hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday, a wonderful day, and I hope all you moms out there and dads enjoy this day. Bye guys.